Hello and welcome to our latest video. In this short video, we will show how to perform scaffold hopping using the fragment linking generator in Machia, a market-leading solution for de novo drug design using artificial intelligence. In Machia, a number of AI-based generative algorithms are built in for specific use cases. Of them, the fragment linking generator can be used for generating compounds by proposing new linkers or scaffolds between two building blocks. It is purely chemistry driven so a good understanding of organic chemistry is required. By defining the exit vectors, that is, reaction centers where the chemistry will take place, the generator will search for commercial building blocks which can react in such positions. This may result in generated molecules with a high chemical diversity albeit an average potential for synthetic feasibility and multi-parametric optimization. Once logged into Machia, you will be greeted with a projects interface that lists the different projects you have carried out. Click on an existing project, or to set up a new one, click on add new project and assign it a name. Once we select an existing project, click on the Generators tab, and then on New Generator. Select the Generation Engine as Fragment Linking, and name it as Fragment Linking. This will present you with an interface with a number of options to set up the generator. For the purposes of this video, we will use the exit vectors chemical space, and scorers options. Click on Exit Vectors. In this tab, you will see two windows. Each allows us to input one building block to which we wish to attach a scaffold. You can either copy and paste the smiles of the building block or click on the pencil icon to draw it in the sketcher. Once the building block has been drawn, click Done. Once the building block is defined, the Set button becomes active. The exit vector can be defined by clicking on it and entering the corresponding atom ID. For example, we wish to define bromine as the exit vector and hence we will type 8 and press Enter. Click Done. Similarly, define the second building block and its corresponding exit vector. Click Save. If you are not sure about which fragments to define at this step, the reference molecule can be decomposed into commercially available building blocks using our SPIA software for retrosynthetic analysis. Appropriate fragments can be selected based on the user's understanding of synthetic chemistry of the target molecule. Next, click on the Chemical Space tab. This step is optional and here you can select the pre-uploaded PIM1 inhibitor dataset as the chemical space to guide the generator towards selection of similar scaffolds and design of new molecules. Click Save. Next, click on the Scorers tab. Here, we will select a predefined scorer which contains the rule of five Lipinski properties that will score molecules once they are designed by the generator. Click Save. Users can also add any AutoML models to guide the generation process, though this might result in less than expected novelty in the chosen scaffolds and generated molecules. For the purposes of this video, we will skip AutoML. We then go back to the Generators tab where we find that the generator has been created. Click Run for the process of scaffold hopping to begin. Once the generator has finished running, the molecules are displayed in the Results tab.
and can be sorted according to their computed properties. As you can see, many of the molecules have highly diverse scaffolds. Also, parallel coordinates can be used to filter and view molecules according to their computed properties within a specific range. For example, to select molecules with good QED and synthetic feasibility, drag the cursor on their scales with the appropriate range. Moreover, individual molecules can be inspected by clicking on See Details. The resulting page displays the input building block, the selected scaffold, generated molecule, its computed properties, and the most similar compound from the chemical space. Moreover, molecules can be selected and exported. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding Machia, please reach out. We'll be happy to help.